Okay, did everybody walk to today's video? In today's video, I'm going to install this X Bull winch on my 2003 Jeep TJ. I got a first generation Smitty built right now that has relay issues, and instead of fixing it, I'm just going to swap it out. This is the X Bull 13,500 pound winch out of the box. I do hope the winch is going to be better than what the stickers are because the stickers are already peeling off, but that shouldn't be an issue. Let's get this old winch out of the frame first. Unbolt it and then get rid of it and put the new one in. Oh. So this part is very important so you don't have any issues is read the manual and make sure you wire it up correctly so these three wires right here are all color coded so we got black yellow and then red those are those three are going to go this little small one is going to go to that silver one and that's where this ground cable is going to go to there as well like I said before, make sure you have the wires hooked up properly because if you don't, it's going to make a big mess. So now I'm going to install the fair lead. My bumper already had a mount built in, so it's just a matter of bolting it up. The bolts that came in the kit were too big, so I had to use the old ones. Didn't matter. It still fit. Now it's time to lift up the winch. It's all wired together. Those little nuts go on the bottom side of the frame. But put them in after you get the winch on the bumper so that they don't fall out. So I'm just squeezing it in place. My big concern right now, because it is a 13,500 pound winch, if it was going to fit, and it seems like it's going to fit in no problem. So I'm just running the wires through the plastic so I can install them on the frame to the body and to the battery terminal. My word of advice when getting the bolts in for the winch is to put them all in loosely before you tighten them up. That makes sure everything aligns. Right now I got everything bolted back up and now it's time to hook up the last two wires and hopefully this thing will work. As far as the wiring goes, the negative came up. It's bolted to the fender and this big ground goes to the engine block where the battery ground goes. I should be good there and of course positive to the positive now i'm going to hook up the ground and see if i let the smoke out of the wires we got to be careful because if we got something wrong with that wiring she's going to spark really bad nope we're good we are good Winch is all installed, looking good. This is actually remote control too, so when you disconnect it and press this power button, it'll turn green. I do not know if you have to leave it charged up for a while. I'm not exactly sure, but there we are, installed, looking good. There you are. Now I gotta try out the winch and see if it's gonna work. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.